Electric vehicles are having a moment. More than 1 million EVs are on American roads today, and while they only account for just over 2% of new vehicle purchases, more people bought EVs in 2019 than cars with manual transmissions, according to J.D. Power. And it's not just cars that are going electric. A growing number of automakers are expanding their EV offerings to include SUVs and light and medium duty pickup trucks as well. This shouldn't come as much of a surprise, given that the most popular selling vehicles in the US are, in fact, SUVs and pickup trucks. As the New York Times reported in September, SUVs and pickups accounted for a whopping 70% of vehicle sales in 2019. Nearly 6 million of them sold in the first half of the year, compared to just 2.5 million cars. Heck, the last year the RAV4 Hybrid outsold the Prius by roughly 20,000 units, easily unseating the sedan as America's favorite hybrid electric. The plan to release the all-electric RAV4 Prime later this summer will only further cement the SUV's position at the top of the EV market. General Motors announced in November that it's working on an electric pickup, which it aims to release by the end of 2021. There's no word on what the truck will look like, but it will reportedly be assembled at GM's Detroit assembly plant. General Motors is not the only established automaker to dive into the electric SUV and truck market, of course. Ford is currently developing an electric F-150 for release in 2021. The F-150, which has been in production since 1975, is one of Ford's top-selling models, accounting for around a third of the automaker's total sales in 2019. The lure of zero emissions and the ability to tow more than a million pounds of cargo could be enough to entice environmentally conscious buyers to ignore its limited driving range. Whether it can outpull a Cybertruck, eh, that remains to be seen. Elon Musk revealed his vision for an electric pickup at last November's Los Angeles Auto Show. The overtly angular EV is capable of towing 14,000 pounds with a range of more than 500 miles, according to Tesla. It's scheduled for release in late 2021, though good luck getting your hands on one at launch. More than 200,000 people have already put down deposits for a Cybertruck of their own, which starts at just under $40,000. The Cybertruck's design has already elicited strong feelings from both its fans and its critics. Musk claims that its exterior is inspired by the Lotus Esprit S1, which was featured in The Spy Who Loved Me. One thing nobody will disagree over is the Cybertruck's speed. It jumps from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. But despite its speed, the Cybertruck is still bulky enough to classify as a Class 2 medium-duty truck, similar to the Ford Super Duty series, the Chevy Silverado Heavy Duty, or the Dodge Ram 2500. Bollinger's electric offering isn't nearly as nimble as the Cybertruck, needing 4.5 seconds to hit 60 from a standstill, nor is it as affordable. The B1 and B2 models, which are essentially the same vehicle, just an SUV and pickup format, will start at $125,000 when they hit the market in late 2021. The Bollinger, however, is a beast. It's rated a Class 3 truck, putting it in the same company as the Chevy Silverado 3500 or the Dodge Ram 3500. It sports a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's 20% larger than the biggest battery Tesla sells, enough for around 10 hours of off-roading or 200 highway miles. However, despite its size and power reserves, the Bollinger is only rated to tow around 7,500 pounds, a far cry from what Tesla and Ford are claiming their vehicles will be able to do. Speaking of massive electric trucks, GMC announced in January that it is reviving the Hummer brand, infamous for its gas-guzzling SUVs, as its zero-emission EV arriving in late 2021. Details are still scarce, though GMC promises to reveal more information in May when it formally unveils the vehicle. Karma is being equally cagey about its forthcoming electric pickup. The Chinese automaker plans to reveal a concept for an all-wheel drive EV truck by the end of 2020, but hasn't offered any additional details. No EV automaker has garnered more interest to date than the normal Illinois-based startup Rivian. Its R1T and R1S models took the 2018 LA Auto Show by storm, drawing interest from established automakers and tech companies alike. In fact, Rivian turned down a sizable investment offer from GM, reportedly because they wanted exclusive rights to Rivian's technology, and instead has accepted a $700 million round of funding from Amazon, who promptly bought 100,000 EV delivery vans from the startup. Lincoln is also leveraging Rivian's platform to design an EV SUV of its own. In all, Rivian plans to release as many as six models by 2025. That's in addition to all the other stuff manufacturers are building with its IP. Amazon's delivery van purchase is just the tip of the iceberg. This January, UPS ordered 10,000 electric vans from UK tech company Arrival for use in Europe and the US. 
These 2.7 meter tall vans will run for an estimated 155 miles on a single charge of their 75 kilowatt hour batteries. Similarly, France's National Mail Service operates more than 7,000 Renault Kangoo ZE vans for its mail carriers. EVs are even starting to creep into first responder vehicles. The LA Fire Department announced in February that it plans to purchase and deploy an electric fire truck into its service, the first in North America. The 100 kilowatt hour vehicle is made by Austrian based manufacturer Rosenbauer and can operate for up to two hours on battery power alone, though there is a diesel engine on board should it need to run for longer. The age of electric vehicles is once again upon us. Never would have left if it wasn't for that pesky Henry Ford and its meddling assembly lines. And the road to greener, eco friendly transportation is laid out before us. The only question is, how far will our batteries take us? As always, hit subscribe for more and see all of the news on Engadget.